When and what type of tours would you ever splurge on? Hi, my name is Christine of Girl Traveling. Today I'm going to talk about when taking a pre-packaged tour is worth the splurge versus do-it-yourself travel. Now recently a question was asked by one of my Patreon patrons, Mara, who is planning her first trip to India and she really wants to make it happen this year. She's not sure if she's going to be traveling with friends or doing it alone because India is a big country and can pose culture shock for many Western travelers. She's not sure if she can make strong enough decisions based on the unknown. She asks, do you suggest figuring it out yourself or traveling with a company who takes care of it for you? Any thoughts on personal tours or doing it yourself? Today I'm going to talk about when Taking a tour is worth the splurge over doing it yourself. I'm also going to share with you my secret on how I use some of these tools to make getting around a whole lot easier to the point where I can actually wing my travels. Although I'm primarily a do-it-yourself traveler, over the years I've taken a lot of tours. Anything from 11 European countries in 21 days, taking full day tours, three hour walking tours, and of course food tours. Here's some reasons why you might want to splurge on a tour easy navigation. Taking a tour generally helps you to cover a lot of experiences or a lot of destinations in a very short amount of time. In some cases, taking a tour is very necessary in order to reach difficult locations. Locations like Antarctica, Bhutan, Tibet, um, or even taking a safari are destinations which only allow you to enter via a tour. It can shed local insight into a culture or knowledge that you might not have access to. Safety. Anything from experiencing cultural cuisine, um, accommodations, transportation, uh, activities, usually the tour is fairly safe. Last, a tour might allow you to indulge in personalized experiences or a personal hobbies, a specialized skill or activity that maybe you want to learn or be introduced to or experience. Here's six tour ideas that you can definitely look into. Full package tours. They're generally the most expensive, but they are the most all-inclusive. From hotels, transportation, sometimes food, as well as activities. What I like about package tours is that it will cover a large sample platter of that country or city in a very short and compact amount of time. People might think that this is a very superficial experience of a city or a culture, but I think if you've got a very good and insightful guide, then you'll probably get a deeper experience of a place just from learning more about it. Another thing I like about package tours is that they kind of share with local cuisine and this might be something that you might not want to do on your own because you might feel a little unsafe. They will point you in directions or just kind of like order something for everyone to try. For a large country like India, getting around, I would normally recommend people to factor in transit time which could be anywhere from one to two days. However, with a tour, all of that would be compressed because they would be streamlining their their travels or their transportation to meet all these different sites. For me as a solo traveler doing it myself, I would have to plan out my route and I probably have to pick and choose my battles. I wouldn't be able to do everything. I'd have to chunk certain locations together with the with the landmarks and sites in order to get around. Often because there's so much in that schedule they need to stick to a time clock and so there's not too much flexibility in how much time you get to spend at a location. Keep in mind that these package tours also occasionally slide in uh, their little commission shops and these are vendors that they work with in order to gain a little extra commission. Depending on the traveler or tourist, sometimes people do want to shop for souvenirs. There are other travelers that don't and that's kind of where you kind of have to make a little bit of a compromise. In terms of finding a tour, I always say book it in the country versus online. If you're going to have to go online, you're going to pay a little bit more because you're going to be paying for a middleman um, and they're just going to be hiring the local tour outfit itself. For a solo traveler like myself, Day tours are awesome. There's a tourist and traveler in all of us. And for the tourist in me, I know that I will feel very incomplete if I don't see the main tourist attractions to kind of get a foundation um, of the city itself. There's a reason why these are main tourist attractions. They can range anywhere from a free walking tour that lasts three hours to a half day tour to a full day tour. The thing that I love about the day tours is that it offers you the ability to see a lot of the city highlights in a compressed amount of time. That means 
you can get that out of the way and go on to exploring and getting lost and having your own personal experience of the city. I like to book my day tours through a local tour agent, period. It's gonna be the most economical route. I'm gonna be feeding my money back into the local economy versus the middleman. And I can always research different tour agencies and see the prices or the going rates and that's how I know what's a good rate for me. These days tours are just getting more and more interesting and they're getting to be more focused around themes as well as specialized skills or interests. They might offer more insight into the culture as well as sometimes a more pointed view through specialty skills. You're not only experiencing the standard tourist attractions. You might want to see the city through a photography tour through a film location tour, through a food tour. You want to engage in things like bungee jumping, zip line, scuba diving. When a country is large and widely spread apart, but you want flexibility and the ability to control some of your experience, then sometimes you might want to look at hiring a driver in a car. Hiring a driver offers a little bit more of a personal experience. Sometimes they come with preset itineraries. You could choose your own time, how long you want to stay in an area. Uh, even though you will have to book your own accommodations and activities, they can offer suggestions for you. Hop on, hop off tour buses. These are one of my favorite. Usually the buses take a circular preset route and you can hop on and hop off at whatever destinations you want and spend whatever time you need in them. If you want to spend extra time in a certain area, you would just miss the schedule of the, the pickup bus. And that takes a lot of stress and planning out of the way. Now, the prices will range depending on what country you go to, what city you go to. Uh, certain countries like Korea, they offer fairly inexpensive city bus tours. I think the last time I was there, I paid roughly around $10. I think a New York City hop on hop off tour bus might cost anywhere from like $40 to $60 maybe. Um, but they all ranged. Some of these buses have language recordings where they give you headphones and you can listen to it. I would not rely on those as well as any guides that they offer you on the bus. I would not rely on them to give you a lot of in-depth information. Take your guidebook with you and still read up on it. Finally, my secret, booking point to point travel. There are certain cities where travel agents are plentiful and your hotel or hostel has more booking power than you think. Going back to Mara's question, India was actually one of those countries which felt easy for me to book my travels as well as wing them. I relied on local travel agents to find me the best deal at the most convenient time for my schedule and I relied on my hotel to either direct me to the best travel agents or to help me book that point to point travel on my own. This way of traveling has gotten me around or helped me wing my travels in so many different cities and countries, anywhere from Turkey to India to Thailand to Cambodia, you know, a, a lot. That's, that's my little secret in a nutshell. Hope that was helpful for you and if it was, give me a thumbs up or a like. Subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. What kind of Tours would you splurge on. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun. I will see you on one of these tours. Till then, may the girl be with you.